Alice. Oh, Martina. Oh my gosh, hi. How are you doing? How long has it been? Oh, uh, definitely been a few years, right? <laughs> I remember you had those frizzy bangs and those big glasses, but look at you now. <laughs> um, thanks. I, I guess I got like a good hairstylist now. <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, how have you been? Oh, I heard you work for that big PR firm. Oh, I love it. I mean, I don't mean to brag, but I have an own office and I get a big check at the end of every month. Wow, that's so cool. <laughs> Thanks, I know. Well, I always knew you'd be successful. <laughs> huh. Thanks. I knew it too. <laughs> so... What are you doing? Oh, um, well, I, I'm just self-employed right now, but I, I've been working on my book and... Yes. Wait, you're still doing that writing thing? Um, yeah. <laughs> you really haven't changed. What do you mean? Well, the chances of becoming a successful author are pretty slim. I told you that in high school. Yeah, I mean... You know right. who did publish a book, though? Eddie, from 10th grade. Oh, I would have never imagined him to pull that off. And now he's married to some rich European chick. Talk about total glow-up. <laughs> wow, yeah. I... And everyone from her graduating class is either popping out babies or getting married. <laughs> and to think I'm one of those people. Everyone's changed so much. Well, except for you. You're pretty much the same. I think, I think I've changed. I, I have better hair now. Yeah, but you have the same personality. So shy and quiet. Always so nice to people. What's wrong with that? Nothing, but I wouldn't be where I am now if I just played nice all the time. Martina's always been such a self-centered bitch. Oh my God. She always gets what she wants, even though she doesn't deserve it. How is this possible? I would just love to see her perfect world fall apart. Wouldn't she love to see her suffer for once in her life? No, no, that would be cruel. Come on, Alice. You've always been too nice to her. To everyone, in fact. No one was ever nice to you back. They just took advantage of you. And you let them. I had no choice. I just wanted to be liked. Oh, fuck that. Everyone at school made fun of you. Everyone at work never respected you. Every guy you dated cheated on you. And you let them get away with it. Because you know what? You're too fucking nice. Stop! These people should suffer for what they put you through. You ended up being insecure. Filled with anxiety and alone. They don't deserve to live their perfect lives. You know what I would do.
Would you like to see the sun? These people don't deserve to live in perfect lives. You know what I want to do? You know what I want to do? Hey, I didn't expect to see you here twice. You really must not be busy. What can I say? I'm a writer. This is how life is. Okay, well, I'm gonna go. I gotta get some coffee, cause I gotta go back to work and then see my husband. Your life is just peachy, isn't it? You could say that, yeah. You always get exactly what you want. But I had to work hard to get it. Yeah, but you did never, like, suffer, did you? Where are you going with this? Martina, did you ever consider checking up on me over the last five years? You know, when I got kicked out of university? And all my jobs? Or when my boyfriends dumped me because they found someone else? What about when my mother died? Of course, Alice, I thought of you, I just... I've been super busy. Yeah, living in Martina world. Haven't you realized how much I've suffered all these years? In high school, when everyone called me the ugliest girl in school and didn't want to be my friend, and you just did nothing. You just let them make fun of me and bully me. Okay, come on, Alice, let it go. That was years ago. We're friends, aren't we? No, we're not. And we never were. I would never be friends with someone so selfish. You're just jealous that I turned out way better than you. What? You were such a loser in high school. And you still are. I am not a loser. Well, compared to me and everyone else, you kinda are. But that's not my problem. You're the one who decided to go down a dead-end path. Oh, you bitch. <laughs> wow, you can actually swear. Luckily for you, that doesn't affect me. And that is why I'm successful, and you're not. Why are you saying all this anyways? You're supposed to be nice. So, shut up. And go back to your little hino where no one knows you actually exist. Okay?